She's Amelia, I'm Dad. Today's secret ingredient is a loving memory. Been a little sad lately here in the Rome Held House, as we recently had to part with our matriarch, Amelia's great-grandmother Marion. She was a wonderful, sweet lady who loved her grandchildren very much, and she's already very missed. So, today, to honor her and to celebrate the full and happy life that she lived, Amelia and I are going to be making Grandma Marion Berry ice cream. For those of you that aren't aware, Marion berries only grow in Oregon. They're a hybrid of a blackberry and a raspberry that was engineered by the Department of Horticulture at OSU. And then they named it after my grandma. I looked it up on Wikipedia. Okay, we're gonna do a really quick rundown of all the ingredients you're gonna need before we get started here. Uh, first of all, since this is Marion berry ice cream, you will need Marion berries of some kind, either frozen or fresh, and that should be fine. Uh, you'll need about two cups. You will need a tablespoon of lemon juice for when we make our syrup. Sugar, two cups total. One quart of half and half. One quart heavy whipping cream. And about six eggs. And then of course, once we have all the ingredients, you will need an ice cream maker. Daddy chocolate! Daddy chocolate! Well, we're not making chocolate today, we're gonna make berry! So, in a medium sized saucepan, we are gonna combine the following. Roughly two cups of marion berries two cups of water, one cup of sugar. Incoming transmission. I want the cheese. I don't want the cheese. I want the cheese. I want the cheese. What? I got the cheese. Where are your clothes? Go get dressed, Amelia. No! One tablespoon of lemon juice. Once you have all that together, give it a good mix in and bring it to a boil. Once the water starts to boil just a little bit, and what you want to do at this point is just get a, a masher or something like you might use for potatoes or even just a, a spoon might work if that's all you got. Just get on in down in there and really mash up the berries good. After they're all mashed up, we're going to reduce the heat and uh, just let the berry syrup simmer for a while. After about 15 minutes, uh, the syrup should be cooked down enough that we can take it off the heat and strain the berries out of the solution. Take our berry mixture and we're just going to pour it right over there, like so. Give it a few seconds to settle. After several minutes, you can safely remove the uh, excess berry bits with no liquid dripping down. And there we have it. That is the syrup that we are going to use to flavor our ice cream with. Before proceeding, make sure the kiddo is nice and distracted. Alright, so, now that the blackberry syrup is done, we're going to start working on our custard base. And to do that, we're going to need to combine first one cup of our sugar, and our quart of half and half into a large saucepan. Next, take your six eggs and separate out the yolks into a large mixing bowl. So by now, the, uh, what's wrong, Bug? I'm hurt. Did you hit your elbow? You okay? All right, bye. So by now, the uh, mixture of half and half and sugar that we started should be warming up nicely, and we are now gonna need to temper it in with the eggs. So with a measuring cup, scoop out just a little bit of the hot mixture of half and half and sugar that we've been heating up, and put it in with the eggs. And you're just gonna mix that in there together as you do that. And continue to mix and add more as you do so. All right, we've successfully tempered the eggs. Return to the mixture on the stove and add in the egg mixture we just made. And we're gonna let this cook. Now you gotta whisk this pretty much constantly while it cooks, otherwise the eggs will stick to the edge of the pan. But we're gonna cook this for a good long while as it turns into a nice thick custard mixture. So after about 10 minutes, the base is cooked down into a nice thick uh, custard, as you can see here. It's just boiling a little bit. And we're 
we are going to want to do now is take it off the heat and take it over to the strainer to get out any chunks of that. What are you yelling about? What are you doing? I'm a chair. All right, go sit in your chair. Daddy's making the ice cream. So right now we're just going to want to take that custard base and run it through our strainer. And this is just going to get out any overcooked chunks, any scrambled eggs or anything that might have ended up in there after all. Now we're going to get our quart of heavy cream that we set aside earlier and we're going to put that in there. And now we're going to combine that with Daddy! our custard base. And mix it all together nice and good. Then the final ingredient we're going to add to this is our black or our Marion Berry syrup that we made yesterday. And just add as much as you want. Half cup and a half to two cups, depending on how strong you want it to be. Cover that with saran wrap and we're going to put it in the fridge to chill for a little while. I'm going to catch you. I'm here at the bottom. Okay. Come on down. Oh. Don't worry. I'm not worried. What, am I, what should I be worried about? Daddy! Hi. Daddy. You ready to go? No. Nope. You're going to try that? Are you ready to go home now? No. It's time to go home, okay? Are you ready to go home now? No. No, no go home. Don't you want to go make ice cream? All right, now that Amelia is napping and the mixture is chilled, we can load it into our ice cream maker and get started. So once the base is loaded inside the cylinder, just insert the paddle like so and place the cylinder inside the center of our ice cream maker. Finally, be sure to add lots of ice and rock salt so it gets cold enough. There we go. Look at that. Oh, it's looking good. Now, I had this one go a little longer than usual. Sometimes, you know, if it's not quite where it needs to be at the hour mark, just let it go for another 15 or so. You know, sometimes it just doesn't get quite as cold as, as it does. And I know that um, certain flavorings, like in this case, the syrup we used might have offset the amount of time that it needs to freeze by just a little bit. So that's fine. Uh, just, you know, if it's not quite frozen by the end of an hour, just let it go a little bit longer, put some more ice on there. Oh, take the vacuum! I'm the vacuum! Hey, Amelia! I'm the vacuum! Are you going to vacuum or do you want ice cream? Okay, vacuum! What's that? Ta-da! Maybe ice cream! Yes, it is! Where yes. do we... Where do we... Oh, wait! Where do we keep the ice cream? Yay, I create Papa. Yeah, Papa. Yay, I create Papa. Don't worry. Yellow? Yeah. So we I create Daddy I. Daddy who's fun. Daddy who's fun. Is that German? What are you saying? Yeah. Yeah. You gonna have some of this? That's our picture of Grandma. Grandma Marion. Baby. That baby is that baby is you. So Mooter. That's Mooter. And baby Amelia. Mommy, mommy ice cream. Yeah. You making a milkshake? What are you doing? I'm to cook. Oh, you're gonna cook. 
What are you cooking? I'm gonna cook ice cream. You're gonna cook ice cream? It's not bad. I feel like it needed a little bit more Marion Berry flavor though. We probably should have made a thicker sure syrup. I All right, we're getting experimental here. Uh, because the ice cream has already had time at this point to set up, we can't just mix more syrup straight into it for, uh, for to increase the flavor. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna make, put the syrup in there and make sort of a ribbon throughout of syrup. And I've never done this before, and I don't know if it's gonna work, but that's okay, we do it live. And I'm just gonna kinda, not really mix it in, just spread it around a bit. Like so. We don't wanna, we don't wanna thoroughly mix it through, just kinda get it so that ribbon is all around in there. too sure about the color. She doesn't like that it's, it's red. So she's sticking with some of the vanilla we made last no. time. No! Yeah, that's right, vanilla. So there you go. You can make it my way and put a ribbon in after you've already made the ice cream, or you can just make more syrup to start with if you want a more kind of consistent flavor. Either way is delicious. It's probably easier to do it when it's no. still soft. No, no, Daddy's camera. Daddy has to talk to the camera, baby. We're making a video. No. Can you say bye bye? Down. Down, we gotta say bye bye. And say bye bye. Bye bye.